I think all of us are here in defense of democracy. Uh, we think our democratic rights are being trampled on. And they're being trampled by an administration who really didn't have a specific program and only had a specific program after they were in office. And I truly think they would have never gotten into office had people known specifically what their program was going to be. So it's nothing less. We're organized labor, but we're defending democracy. SEIU! Yeah! yeah. And where are you from? Detroit! Detroit. And why are you here? To save, to save our jobs. Uh, take John to cut. He wants to cut everything. Been here three months, and he wants to cut jobs, cut, tax you. He just wants to carry us down to in the gutter, and we're not going to take it. That's what we want to get my rid home of. Healthcare. Get him to stop. He needs to slow his rope before he messes up the people. And don't put a plug on grandma and grandpa. Right. That's right. Leave my picture alone! That's right. I just want to hold on to my job. Here to protest just about everything they're thinking about in that building. What don't you like? <laughs> Name it. All 37 bills. All 37 now his pension thing, he, has, he might have reworked his pension, but he didn't think anything about disabled pensioners. So, there's a question for him. See, people like us think about our, our disabled folks. People in that building don't. There's only a couple dozen or a dozen of them. And you? Uh, me, I'm out of Local 174. My name's Claude Jones. Um, I'm here because I'm sick and tired of the governor trying to take everything that we worked for all our life from us. You know, the unions have put everything together to make us have a weekend, to have a, a retirement, to have a, a safe way of life, and then he's trying to just cut it all away from us. I don't Guarantee see, um, I mean, I don't, I, the paperwork can't go in till July. That's right. Right. Uh, will the union support a recall? I'll carry your damn person to myself. They're trying to take and say the nine union is going to make them jealous of what the union's got. But the union has fought for the nine union just as well as we fought for ourselves. That's a nine union shot. The person that's the highest dog in wages because he's been there the longest, he's going to be the man that's out the door. And one of these days you're going to see even the, the prevailing wages are going to even go down and down and down for the non-union. It's just a race well, to the bottom is all it is. Hire people, who are they going to hire for 10 bucks an hour where you can't make it on as it is now? And not only that, if people are unemployed, who's going to afford to be able to go to these places anyways? Well, if nobody has any money to buy anything, I don't see how they're going to hire anybody. Exactly. You, got, you got $5 gas prices coming up. You got $5 gas prices coming up. You got people taking cuts and pay to go to work. Sooner or later, I'm hoping people will get sick of it and start standing together like they should. And I'd rather see, instead of 10,000 people, I want to see 100,000 people standing here. They got 100,000 in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to see that here because people are getting sick of it. If you can't afford to go to work, why go to work? And I tell you what, if we all stay home just for one day, watch what will happen. This isn't just about union labor. This is no, it's labor. labor in general. Labor. Yep. It's the backs, it's our backs and our brawn that we use for our work. It's our skills, our knowledge, all of our certifications. And you've got all these contractors who are just going to be keeping the prevailing wage money. They're not going to give it to their people. They're not going to put it into training. They're not going to spend millions of dollars a year to train their people. What are you going to have? Everything you're going to have built is going to be unsafe or a substandard. And they're going to find out that it's going to be all over cost. And why are you here? To get him out of here. And him is Rick Snyder. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to. Is your union going to support a recall? Yes. Absolutely. And you guys will help pass petitions when that time comes. Yes. I'm Mike Walter. I'm out of UAW 602. Uh, we're down here, happy to see our students here fighting for their futures. So we're going to fight right next to them and. We're going to fight for them and our retirees, and hopefully they'll come up and fight for us as retirees also. Sometimes I think students haven't been told the story of labor. Do you think that's a problem? I think that's a big problem. We're having trouble getting into the schools now. They won't let us in to, to tell the true story of labor. So. Yeah, so you've asked to be 
uh, guest lecture or something and they've said no? Yeah, I was, actually I was talking to somebody the other day and uh, the UAW had sponsored their baseball team and bought jerseys for the entire team and they refused to allow them to wear them because they had the UAW wheel on them. So it's unfortunate. These are the things that are happening today. No, oh, I'd like to see everything be fair like it's supposed to. You know, I, we need to keep our collective bargaining. We need to be able to uh, have a middle class. Same for you? Oh yeah, exactly. Well, I, I think the biggest thing is uh, it's the teachers unions that the uh, that the Republicans would like to see abolished because we've turned out candidates in the past and by attacking the unions and making it a right to work state then uh, they control all the pieces and we see it as a race to the bottom. The main reason we're out here today is the Republicans in the U.S. Senate, 47 senators, are dead set on repealing Obamacare. This is, they have the four lies. They say it's communism, socialism, bad for health and bad for jobs. All those are lies. Obamacare is covering uh, young people who can stay on their parents' insurance, helping elderly people pay their drugs, expanding health care through more money going to health care centers. Uh, these are things that we need to do to improve our economy, to provide more jobs, and to take care of the health needs of all America. It's not perfect, but if we have a repeal, we'll never see Medicare for all in our lifetime. Mostly concerned, well, I'm concerned about everything, but uh, very much about the public schools and the diversion of money and private uh, power to the charter schools, which we've got to talk more about. Well, number one, Wisconsin was going real strong. And uh, in Wisconsin, they were directly taking on the unions. In Michigan, what they did is they introduced legislation called the Emergency Financial Manager. And by virtue of that, uh, a person who can take over a political jurisdiction, destroy the political structure there, like a city commission or road commission, a library, school board, and, and prevent people from, from those officers who are elected by the community from running for office for six years, um, is a destruction of our democratic rights. And with sh funding, short funding municipalities, it's a perfect setup for a major um, movement by emergency financial managers to take over jurisdictions, destroy collective bargaining agreements. And I think what's unique is that this financial manager can destroy any contract that a political entity has, except for one thing, and that is a contract with a bank for a loan.